Horror is my favorite genre, period. So you know I wouldn't have forgotten to do a Halloween special. That's um, absurd. Hello, Keisha. It's not. It's Halloween. I love Halloween, specifically the horror genre that it craps out. From trick-or-treating and getting sick tummy aches from all this candy, can we trade? Can I trade? I don't want this. Or if you're a bit older, maybe going to a sweet costume parties at your grandma's house. Maybe you go out in a risque Nigel Thornberry costume and paint the town red with fake blood. Not real blood. Do not use real blood. But my favorite part of Halloween has always been just sitting down with my family or homies to just watch a nice horror movie with the candy that I've earned from scavenging the wild. And I would watch it all from The Shining to, coincidentally, Halloween. But this video isn't about those movies. No, 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 no. I want to talk about the horror movies that I have more of a soft spot for because these were the movies that scared the absolute bejesus out of me when I was a small boy. Starting off with the big one. Monster. House. Monster. House. I don't care who you are. You could have been the biggest Chad on Earth. This movie made you deuce your trousers if you watched it as a kid. Heck, it scares me now. Oh, fuck. You know, it's just a sweet and innocent movie about a terrifying monster house that eats everything in sight and it's up to DJ Jenny and Chowder to kill the freaking thing before it eats more people. How is nobody noticing this explosion? The movie begins with these trumpets getting more and more frantic basically leading you up to the main threat of the movie until... It goes quiet. And the first scene of this movie I think is just so freaking smart because whether you're watching this movie for the first time or you're coming back to watch it again, you have a completely different experience to this beginning scene. For a person who's watching this for the first time, you just see this Nebra Cracker dude as some crazy old fart who hates kids and wants them away from him. But that's not the case at all. Nebra Cracker knows what his house is capable of and he's just scared. He's scared that his house is gonna eat actual innocent children. So I can totally see how the stress of Halloween, where the tradition is children coming up to his house as a possible all-you-can-eat buffet, could 100% make him, well, just drop dead scared. Yeah, that's right. A person in this movie has a freaking heart attack. And for the majority of the movie, that character is now dead to the new audience until the end of the film. And that's another reason why I love this movie. This movie does not give a fuck. This movie has one agenda, to scare the absolute shit out of children. And it does this so effectively while also being cartoony enough that it doesn't like scar the kids that's watching it. There's even like little cool hints that the house is alive. Like the window like cracks in a way that uh, oh my god oh jeez. This movie's made for children or the grass grabbing at his wheel while he's being sent to the hospital. But that one could be anything. No need to jump to conclusions. It's such an amazing introduction to horror movies and it's one of the movies that got me into watching horror movies in the first place. But it's not the only one. Halloween Town scared the absolute but Jesus out of me. And I don't know why. This movie is not scary in the slightest now. Why didn't Hocus Pocus scare me? And don't get me wrong, it didn't like chase me away from the movie. I was no soy boy. It actually made me come back to the movie because I like the feeling of getting scared. And I guess it's like the feeling people get when they ride roller coasters, but screw that. I'll be watching Halloween Town for my adrenaline rush. Thank you very much. And if that doesn't get your goosebumps going, you can always watch Coraline or maybe Goosebumps. Coraline is an absolute magical experience of a little girl who's not happy with how her life is going at the moment with her moving to a new house missing her old friends and having parents that are more focused on work than spending time with her so she escapes in this dreamlike reality where all those problems are just fixed just for that world to turn to an actual nightmare caroline cannot catch a break core a lot. Shut up. And that also goes into a question I really do have for a lot of these movies. Is what's actually happening in the movie really happening? Specifically with Monster House and Coraline. You know, is Coraline a really sad movie of a child who is neglected by her parents? So she makes up this whole adventure in her head of going to a better world just to have that world be not as good as she thinks it would be. Saving her real parents just to cope with the sad reality that she is living in. Oh god, that's really sad. Or uh, uh is there really a murderous house with the thirst for children probably shouldn't have worded it like that. Or is this just the case of two kids who are afraid to grow up clinging onto their imaginations about their crazy neighbor across the street that probably actually did die? Oh god, that's sad too. Back to scary. Back to scary. And having that not be really told to the viewer really does add some mystery to the story. Another question I also have as well is why did I find these movies scary? And why do I still get a little bit shaken in my boots when I watch these later at night while editing this video? 
video? And I think the short answer to that is kids. Now let me explain. There actually has been a theory that someone had pointed out a while ago that I actually agree with today about how scary movies are better when the actors or characters involved in them are children. And that person, coincidentally, was my brother. Check him out if you haven't. And this is what he had to say. If I ever make this into like a movie or if this gets like big enough to become a movie, this probably, probably won't. But I want to make like kids. Kids the cast, basically, because if you think about it, when kids are put in scary situations or, or, you know, movies, you know, it's more forgiving for them to make mistakes and stuff as, you know, if you were watching an adult making stupid mistakes you just yell at them like if there's a scary noise walk away from it what the heck is wrong with you and i completely agree with that but i kind of want to add to it as well not only do i think it makes the horror movies more logical for the characters to have dumb brain that most protagonists do have in horror movies but i think it also makes it scarier for example one of the fairly recent movies that scared me to death lately was the movie it specifically the 2017 chapter one it way more than it chapter two and this is for a lot of the relevant reasons. It Chapter 2 is a snore fest compared to the first one in my opinion, but one of the reasons why I get more scared about It Chapter 1 that is relevant to this video is the fact that the main protagonists are kids. Because when you're an adult, seeing innocent children scared or in a situation that can bring harm to them obviously makes you worry way more for the safety of that character than if that character was an adult. Not to say that you wouldn't worry at all for the safety of an adult in a horror movie, but children are much less capable of defending themselves than adults are. I think there's some natural instinct in us, unless you're an actual monster, to make sure the next generation make it to adulthood safe and happy. And when you're a kid watching a horror movie with a child protagonist, you can use your imagination to put yourself in that character's shoes way easier than an adult can to another adult person, in my opinion. And that's why I think movies like Monster House and Coraline, even if they still got their training wheels on, are 100% valid additions to the horror genre. And if you're looking into getting into the horror genre and you don't know where to start, these two are great introductions in my opinion. Now, Monster House probably a little bit more, most likely. I don't know. You think I know things? I don't even know how to end this video. Good night, everybody.